Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Corey Vickers. I'm actually a 24 year old real estate entrepreneur. We're here in South Richmond. I'm actually going to show you two properties that we actually own. Uh, we're actually doing a tenant turnover. We're going to keep it really honest and transparent with this uh, with this experience. So we actually had a tenant move out. There was actually a shooting here on Christmas Day. I got a call. That car got shot out. I'll drop some photos so you guys can see it. But we're actually going to go in there. You guys are going to actually get a chance to meet a tenant that's come by that, you know, potentially looking at the property as well. So we're here in South Richmond. Let's, let's go check it out. Sometimes when tenants move out, we always talk about you'll see trash they leave here and things of that nature. So this is some of the stuff that they've left here as we're turning this property through. So let's take a walk in here. It's actually a three bedroom, one bath. The story with this, we actually got it wholesaling. So I came out here, I went on an appointment, I met with the seller. The situation was he wanted to move out. He had another property that he lived in that he wanted to get out of this one and actually move into his other property, but he had to wait for his tenant to move out and move into the property. So now we got it vacant. Um, we actually wholesaled this property across the street to an end buyer uh, named Israel. He actually flipped this property a few months back, which is really awesome. We wholesaled it. Funny story about these two properties that we'll get into as well. There's a new build over here. So, you know, things are changing in this area, which is awesome. So, I'm going to take you into this one. Like I said, three beds, one bath. We finally got the tenant out. So, we're going to do everything brand new because we're going to go and get this property appraised and pull our cash out of it. So, we're here in the property. We'll put new floors throughout. Uh, we also did new painting. And like I said, it's a, it's a rental property, guys. So you don't want to do too much, but you want to kind of get what the area can get. So this is the uh, new form throughout, new paint. This is our kitchen here. Uh, we got the light here we're actually going to put. Uh, we got to get our washer, dryer, refrigerator here as well. Uh, like I said, we put a new oven, new microwave, new backsplash. Um, and and kind of work it. We got to get you guys to come through this way. This is a small bedroom here. We got a light here we got to finish up on. Like I said, this is an investment property. This is a long-term buy and hold that we plan on getting the cash flow from as well. So this is actually as well, we put a new bathroom in here as well. All right, so we took the old tub out, tiled up the you know, bathrooms here, put a new toilet, new mirror, new sink vanity as well. All right, the same thing kind of throughout the property, guys. We just, like I said, new floor, new paint, quick turnover. We gotta get new windows as well in the property. Um, it's actually our potential tenant over here. Um, he came by, um, you know, we're working to get him in here, you know, as soon as possible, finish the clean out on the property and be able to get this property up and going. So there's actually a high demand for investment properties right now. People are looking and searching and finding for affordable housing. And that's what we want to provide to people in the community here in Richmond, Virginia. So like I said, we have a tenant here. He's came in at 1,500, All right, We do have some offers around 1,600. So we're working to see exactly, you know, where we can get this tenant at, go through the leasing process, get that first month's uh, deposit, right? Get that security deposit in and really get, get the process going and getting that cash flow. So let's, let's go back outside. Frank, anything you want to add? This is Frank here. So he does a lot of our finishing stuff, right? We don't. Uh, he doesn't usually do like a lot of our gut out projects. But you got to really learn what contractors are good at. You're gonna have some good contractors that are good at maybe GC the project. You have some good contractors that are good at when just finishes. And then you have some contractors that are good at just floors, bathroom, kitchen. So as you guys work with your contractors, you'll see who's good at what. Um, the way that I actually came across this property here on the left hand, we actually got both of these properties using the wholesale strategy, but I really always wanted to tell this story. So when I came across this property here, I was actually going to wholesale it off. I didn't think that I could get the money to even be able to purchase the property. Who's going to give me the money to actually hold it? I never thought about actually holding, buying a rental property. So I came across it. I, I met with the seller really good guy I called him on the phones I booked an appointment I met with him at an art gallery he owns an art gallery here in Richmond uh, at the time of this video I met him down there I locked up the contract I was gonna sell it right I sent it to a few buyers and they said you know they really want it bad I was like man if these investors if these end buyers really want this deal so bad and they're paying me you know seven ten twenty grand a deal why is that right it's because they're able to build wealth for themselves they're able to really maximize some of these deals so I had a little bit of kickback from the title company. They didn't want to sell me the deal anymore. They said, no, uh, you know, we don't, you're going to sell it to us. We don't want to do business with you. I said, I understand. I made a decision that I actually want to hold on to this property. I went to a private money lender. I was able to get the, the loan to close on the property. I took my own cash and fixed it up. Now, of course, we put a new roof on there, new windows. It, it does need some new siding, but we bought it tenant occupied. So guys, don't be afraid of buying properties with a tenant inside already, even if they're paying a little bit less. It's fine. Think about it. 
Right now, they haven't paid all year. It's okay, right? Their rent was only seven seventy-five. Right, they're moving out on the 29th, God willing, right? We'll be able to go in there, finish the floors, do some work in there, and smack another tenant in there for $1,500 to $1,600, right? So this block on the refinance for this one, right? It refinanced at $120,000. Um, and I have all the documents and HUDs that I'll probably show in these videos where we pulled out $32,000 out of that property, right? So we make $32,000 here, we make another sixty dollars next door. That's almost $100,000, you know, in revenue in both of these properties and still be able to make anywhere from fifteen dollars to $1,900 profit every single month on cash flow. So, of course, we could have got this house property vacant and sold it on the market and, and made a really good deal but for me personally you know I, I really believe in having ownership and wealth and also building out some cash flow everybody has a different strategy find the strategy that works best for you but me personally i kind of want to have some of these little singles just to pay for you know expenses and bills that come up throughout the way but like i said it's really awesome to make almost 100 grand on these two properties and still hold these properties as long-term holds as equity still builds so um this one to always share that i remember when i first bought these two properties i had them I walked around both of them and I prayed over these properties that, you know, God can cover these properties and bless these properties and bless the homeowners in here and allow them to live a really good life over here. And like I said, we did have some incidents over here, but we're here to change the community in which we want to see. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little story. So, we're here, man. We're actually riding on Jeff Davis. It used to be called Jeff Davis. Now, it's actually called, uh, what is it, Richmond Highway now. Uh, for those who know or don't know so this area like i said we're south richmond right it's probably one of the most affordable areas um in in this whole city so we're actually going to go get a washer dryer fridge it's actually a discounted spot right instead of going to lowe's sometimes you want to start building those connections where you get these things for a cheaper price right um of course guys in the bigger picture you don't want to be taking your time doing this right i got it on video so i'll show you guys how it works a little bit but you want to have your contractor go or pay for everything and just send you an invoice and you pay it. Or he goes to the spot and he calls you and then you pay it. Those are the questions that you're gonna have to ask yourself for an investment property. Do you go cheap? Do you keep it affordable, right? It's just a regular rental property, right? Do you need to put a brand new fridge? In an investment property, you get something more affordable, right? Something a little durable that works, right? Like I said, never ever treat any of these properties the way that you wouldn't want your family, your mother, or your grandmother to live in, right? So we'll get them a used one. We don't mind getting a new one, but let's just get a new one. 